Three-year-old boy in the hospital tonight. His mom's boyfriend behind bars accused of abusing that boy in West Haven. That suspect appearing in court today. In News 8's Stephanie Simone spoke with his family. She has more on that tonight. The child had to have surgery last night because of this alleged abuse. He's still in serious condition at the hospital right now. We spoke to the suspect's family before he headed to court today. There are serious sub felony charges here. Horrific accusations. Police say 22 year old Esteban Nieves hurt a three year old little boy so badly the child is still in the hospital almost two weeks later. No matter what happens, we're still going to be besides him. He He's our brother. We're always going to be there. Nieves showed little emotion in court. West Haven police say on February 25th, he was staying with his girlfriend and her three children at this Econo Lodge. Court documents say the youngest woke up crying of stomach pain and vomiting. Every child abuse case is tough. I mean, when you, re when you uh, read these warrants and you see what's alleged to have occurred in this case, you know, it's, it's hard to do. According to the warrant, doctors discovered the child had two lacerations to his liver, bruising to his chest, abdomen, and both ears. Police say cameras at the motel caught Nieves blowing cigarette smoke into the child's mouth several times. Police say the video shows him slapping the child on his head, and not one, but at least two blows to the child's abdomen. Police say he turned himself in yesterday. His New Haven family says he is not an abuser. Never saw a sign of him losing his patience, being aggressive. He has nieces. He has other kids around. He's been in a relationship where there was kids. Never had a problem. She believes these accusations are lies. If my, mother, my brother was guilty like they say he was, he would have never took him in himself. He would have been hiding. The district attorney says he feels strongly about the case. The state uh, has brought forward charges that a judge has found probable cause to believe it is him. That's for a jury to decide ultimately. The judge issued three protective orders for all of the children. His bond was also raised to $500,000. In Milford, Stephanie Simone, News 8.